a uh, very nice my name is boy what's up guys i'm bringing you my first man uh 25 gameplay uh, in ultimate team so i figured that i would bring you my lineup because most of you will probably like to see my lineup and we'll rank up man as you can see i'm an all man first string there's about i think eight different tiers you can see second all man second or pro first pro first i'm in the uh the top tier it's where you it's where you basically play the the uh the best people in Madden all the time the people with the crazy rosters the 98 overalls the the 4d on stuff like that uh there, i don't know how many people just actually play much i would say probably roughly around um 25,000. so uh that's a decent amount and I don't know why it still is it's a glitch to say that there's zero people, uh, zero population on man first string. That's very false. Most of the top people in the top 100 are in man first string. As you see, I'm uh, currently ranked 188. I was 140 something out of town, but I didn't play for like a week and a half because I did nothing but solo challenges. But anyway, let's get into my lineup. As you see, um, my line isn't nothing impressive. I have no legends. I still have uh, 87 overall. And 88 in my line. I'm going to probably upgrade them to the road to playoff versions. You see my chemistry. I run speed running zone defense. Speed run because I like to run the ball. I've always liked to run the ball, even in other mans. And uh, in this one, man 25 running the ball is is exceptionally easy. You look at my running backs. I carry a lot of running backs. Uh, but previously, Alfred Morris was my starting run, running back until I played the head to head season, and he fumbled about eight times that season. So uh, yeah. He got benched. We don't we don't play that around here. No 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 fumbles over here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and I use Shady McCoy as my backup for when I run the pistol. I have Shady McCoy as a second running back. I still have Jamal Charles and C.J. Spiller, just in case anybody gets injured. I carry a lot of running backs. Let's look at my pass offense. I have rode the playoff Andre Johnson. He's a pretty good car. He's not too fast, but he has an excellent release and and he's my he's my go-to target because I don't really expect him to drop the ball. Uh, D. Thomas, my playmaker. And Jordy Nelson in my slot. And Vernon Davis. This Vernon Davis is amazing. I love him just because at 90 speed. Uh, his, his catching stats aren't uh, amazing. They're actually garbage. But I feel like he doesn't play like that. Most of you know I cannot use a pocket quarterback. It's just how I am. Uh, it leaves you so one dimensional. So I have that Steve Young. Who's pretty fast and has good uh, throwing stats. Now let's go ahead and look at my defensive front. My defensive front is including back. Anything spectacular, I don't use not one uh, actual defensive person in their act right position. I have two linebackers at playing in, and I have two ends playing the tackle just for the reason. Uh, I have Robert Smith uh, as a left outside linebacker who's actually a right outside linebacker. He's 88, but I put him at left because when I use my nickel package, he goes in at the right end, and he has 95 finesse moves, so I expect him to be getting to the quarterback. I have Patrick Willis, brings the noise, and we have Lawrence Timmons, the Pittsburgh Steeler. I had to pick up him. He's my boy. My Florida State, he came out of Florida State, and I have Alex Ogletree. He's probably the best coverage linebacker in Manhattan. Let's look at my secondary. My secondary, like again, isn't too uh, spectacular, except for my safeties. We have Brandon Carr, we have Revis, and we have Leon Hall. I like to go with corners who have good press and who are uh, slightly tall. All my corners have decent press, and I have a keep to leave, but it's my fourth. You can see the bottom right corner right there. And my safety is I have Captain Ed Reed and uh, Troy Palmer. And I, I've tried to build my team around players that I actually like in, in real life. So that's why I got the Ed Reed. He, he's amazing at zone. He has amazing play rec. And he, he has like the best catching out of all the safety. So he rarely ever drops a pick. And I don't know why he's run stuff. Kim, it should be zone D Kim. He doesn't really come up and bring the noise like Troy Palmer. I have the Troy Palmer because he's a stealer. He doesn't have really good zone coverage or man coverage. But his play rec. And his hit power comes in handy. I, I, I like to use him because he's quick. And he's a playmaker. And he can come up and help support the running. And like I said, he brings the noise. You know what I'm saying? Now let's go to my special test. We have Sebastian Janikowski with Percy Harvard. And Lee, nothing really spectacular here. Team items, we use Mike Tom at coach. Until I decide to buy Jimmy Johnson, who gives me plus 20 and plus 20 speed run. I like to play in London. Just something different. And... Uh, I know the Bengals are, are still as rivals, but I actually like their colors a lot. That's why I use their away uniforms. And we have the Pittsburgh Steelers throwbacks. Even though all the Steelers uniforms pretty much look the same. And I'm surprised they didn't add the Bumblebee uniforms. If they do, we will be getting those as soon as possible. I use the San Francisco 49ers offensive of playbook. And I use the multiple D. And that's pretty much it. I have 190K. My lineup isn't too impressive. Hopefully, I can change that. Um, but if you enjoyed the video, if you want more Madden gameplay, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and tomorrow I will be giving you a video of why you will not be seeing any more Call of Duty gameplay on my channel for the most part, and a lot of Madden, but anyways, that's the video, and hey, skip fucking that.